they've made you complacent. You're not doing anything with the time. Like I'm, I'm admittedly like I'm projecting, but I also fully believe this. Okay, I know I immediately came back here, but I think in theory, you might sell me my engines here. Each one costs two hundred and seventy dollars. This is non-sellable. This is sellable for fifty-five. I mean, it's still we're a little faster. I mean, we're a lot faster. It adds value if they're happier that way. Okay, that's actually the solution. I guess I don't mind if someone types like, that's why I use Instacart. I would be like, fair enough. I'm just not interested. It's just the way that like, people act like, hey, I've thought of, hey, have you ever thought about making your own bread at home? That's what annoys me is they're like, see, what? I just skipped the whole process. I buy like industrial, um, bags of flour online, like have them shipped to my house and, uh, dude, come on, get me out of here. Is he still behind me? They need to add like a rear view mirror into this game or something, man. Uh, excuse me, the the spout hull damaged? No, I I dodged that. Honestly, I dodged that. That's very true. It proves you can buy an executive membership, but you can't buy an executive mindset. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Hit reg is all goofy. $42. I mean, like, I'm... What do I... How do I... T solve the game for me, Chet. It's my impression of me as a streamer. Um, all of my quests require me to go into the caves. Every time I go into the caves, I get eaten by an enormous eel. It's the Midgar Zalem all over again. Holy cow. Something like that. I need to find Sid's airship. I'm kind of crazy at fishing. Don't even. You need a golden chocobo? Oh, my fish disappeared at six, man. You could outrun it with the boosts. Yeah, but like every time I go in there, I investigate beacons and they're like, there's some rocks here. And I'm like, I know, I don't have dynamite. You can find eels out here. You just need to use your telescope. What the hell? Let's zoom out. Excuse me? Any I users in the chat? Do you actually want me to tell you what to do? Yeah. <laughs> There's an eel spawn in the back of Gale Cliffs. Okay. Let me, first, let me sell my fish. 156. That's pretty good. And then you know what we can do? We can immediately reinvest in ourselves. Oh, she only sells one, you piece of crap. Plus 15 knots. How much is this one? 180? I'd still love to go faster. Uninstall this garbage. Send it to storage. Buy this garbage. Send it onto my boat. Stores will restock after a day or two. What the fuck? 
Holy cow, I am zooming though. I'm not mad anymore. So there's an eel spawn over by the waterfall. You guys eels? Certainly don't look like eels to me. Yet here I am fishing for you. Just another salmon. Certainly don't look like eels either. Oh, this this might be new. Devil Ray. Our ass is not in Tampa Bay. They look kind of eel-esque. Nope, this is wood. <laughs> Collect wood. Can I tell you a hot take on games? Like, as long as we're making people angry today. Can I tell you a hot take on games that will probably upset more people than any opinion on games I've ever had? Now, I want to start by saying, no matter what games you like playing, you're valid, okay? I'm not the one playing your games. You're playing your games. So just because I'm, what I'm about to say will offend like a thousand people, probably like 3,000 people actually. Hang on, I'm beset on all sides by devilish crows. Um, I'm gonna take a quick snooze like before we sell anything, just because I'm being haunted by uh, creatures from above here. Um, but you, if you actually like the thing that I'm about to insult, then you shouldn't be that insulted. Because you like it! That being said, if you have played more than 500 hours of Stardew Valley, I don't think we are digitally compatible. I don't think that, that you and I should ever recommend games to each other. Because I just don't think we, we have any common grounds. We can both, we can coexist, but we should never be like, oh, you should really play this, and you be like, I should really play this. I love Stardew. I was watching Apollo and, and Steve play Sun Valley, which is... Stardew. It's essentially, like, exactly the same game as Stardew. And I was just like... Sorry, Sun Haven. Sorry, Sun Haven. I was just like, just watching it, I was like, it's blowing my mind that there's people who have spent like a thousand hours plus in Stardew Valley. Just going, like it's just, I, there's not, there's actually nothing wrong, I, something is obviously wrong with me. Because it's probably, it might be the most beloved indie game of all time. And I've played maybe 40 hours of it. But the fact that there's people out there, like I, after 100 hours, you're not like, I got to do something else? Like, <laughs> holy cow, this boat is quick. Minecraft? Well, at least, like, in Minecraft, there's, like, some stakes, you know? I think what it is, is, is honestly, in my gaming world, I need a little bit of strife. The fact that there's no strife in Stardew is, like... It, for me, it means that there's no stakes. I'm, I guess I'm about to get eaten again. Here it comes. No, maybe I'm okay. Oh, we meant Minecraft is the most beloved indie game. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. I think that's probably true. But I think Stardew is like, it's close. Stardew is like a normie crossover hit. Now 
not even close? She just, she just sold like five million copies or something. What do you mean not even close? Probably sold more copies than the like entire Bayonetta franchise combined. Oh, you you can't say that. You can't say that. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's losing it. There's got to be. You know what? Just forget about this salmon, man. No, don't even forget about this. Just move this guy over. Minecraft sold 240 million? I literally just said, I'll give you Minecraft. Okay, we're, just keep it moving. Terraria might also be up there, but I feel like Terraria is like the, it's the gamer classic. And then Stardew is like the one where like also your cousin would be like, I don't really play video games. Or like when you go over, they'll be like, Oh, you play games, right? What do you play? And you'll be like, I play a little of everything. They'll be like, I, I'm a gamer too. And then you look at their like Xbox and it's just 3,200 hours of Stardew Valley. It doesn't mean they're not a gamer, by the way. I'm just saying, there, there really do be people out there playing like, literally like getting home from work and playing an hour of Stardew Valley a day for like six years straight. And it's, it's not, it's just a, like a personality difference. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying, I, I want my... I think it's, it's the same thing as, like, if I had to do a Venn diagram of people who loved playing Stardew Valley and people who hated Uncut Gems because it's, like, anxiety-inducing, I'm sure it's just a very, like, a two-pixel offset circle. Okay, that's true. All right, I brought him back, finally. I, I dug myself out of the hole a little bit. I want my games to induce a little bit of anxiety. Why are you talking about this? Because fucking, if I talk about anything else, people are like, oh, he's talking about the Peloton again. He's talking about Costco again. He's talking, oh, we heard this one before. They come up with something insane. You're like, why would you do this and say something that people disagree with? Because I'm not a politics streamer. If I wanted to just get on here and farm money by saying shit that like people in my demographic agree with, I would just, you know, react to insane political headlines all day then people wouldn't be so mad at me. But instead, I gotta say the truth about gaming, and all of a sudden, everybody's like, no, no, we don't like to hear the truth anymore. We don't like to hear the truth. This shit makes me sick. So I'm rallying back against it. Okay, today, I'm going to catch... <laughs> I'm gonna... My ass is going to catch this fucking eel today. We've been playing this shit for like an hour. I thought we were going to do the quest on the first day. It's, it's 4 p.m. What do I need to do? Go around the island. Okay, we'll go around the island. Eep, eep. Does the eel only come out at night? Yes. It's like um, the man-eater from Hall & Oates' song, Man-Eater. It's like a, whoa, here it comes. Watch out, boys, they'll shock you up. Oh, here it comes. It's a conger eel. She only comes out at... Uh, conger eels? These are eels, brother! It could have been this easy the whole time. By the way, I think I actually nailed some. Is Apollo still here? I feel like I nailed some of the notes, man. I feel like my ass kind of carried a tune a little bit there. You did? You know what I actually realized? I, I still... 100% think I'm a bad singer. Full stop. But I think my main problem with singing before... Ah! <laughs> Not the eels! Not the eels! No, no, no. I think my main problem with singing before was that um, I sung too loud. I always went for like a hundred percent volume. Now I just sing a little bit more quietly. It's a lot easier to like keep your pitch where you want it to be. 
I always remember I had a friend, he would always be the singer in rock band because he got, he knew how to keep his pitch line like exactly right. And he would always sing like, like you could barely hear him. But he nailed the notes according to the rock band microphone 100% of the time. Okay, we're not selling the eel. I'm not drinking any freaking Merlot. Mm. That's how my little brother did it too. He went he went Sufjin mode. I need two eels for this quest, don't I? Too quiet's also bad. As long as the rock band mic can pick up your uh, your sound, I think you're okay. They should make rock band Sufjan Stevens. Hello? What am I supposed to be doing? Oh yeah, your family crest. This is not the right place. Sorry, Chibli. Your message got flooded out here. What did what did you say? Chibli's here. What's worse, a thousand hours in Stardew or five hundred hours in FIFA? You're you're not gonna like the answer. I probably shouldn't even answer. I mean nothing's worse. What am I more likely to have fun with? 500 hours in FIFA, for sure. FIFA's like a roguelite. It's different every time. Sometimes I'm getting beaten by a Brazilian teenager. Sometimes I'm getting beaten by a Spanish teenager. Sometimes I'm beating uh, an American teenager. Sometimes I'm getting beaten by, like, an Argentinian teenager. Like, it's different every time. Excuse me, I'd like to speak to Ingfell resident. I've got a conger eel here. Please come back after it's had time to mature. Can't you just bury this shit in the ground? Like, I'm, I'm losing it, man. I'm losing it! Hello, by the way, Chibli. Do you ever take cold showers? There must be some like TikTok trend I'm not familiar with because we've been getting a lot of questions about cold showers lately. I, I don't take uh, cold showers. Not enough space for all items. Apparently is good for you. I, I, this is the thing again is like Listen, it might be. I'm not a shower scientist. People are like so... <laughs> it's not, this is like too much of a Joe Rogan take. When you tell people to exercise, they're like, no, my heart only has a certain amount of beats and I don't want to waste it running. But then whenever you're like, oh, I take a... Sh I sold my fucking eel. Whenever I take like one shower a day, people are like, showering is bad for you. I would never shower. And if I did, you could rest assured I wouldn't wash my fucking hair. Oh, you sit down on the toilet to poop? Don't you care about the health of your colon? You gotta dig a hole in the ground and hold on to a bar. Otherwise, your ass will explode. Like, they always... There's such a tendency to optimize for, like, the right... Or the, the wrong thing. And, like, it's the opposite of keeping it simple, stupid. People are keeping their shit, like, way too complicated. Like, admittedly, if... if a consensus of of medical scientists were like please stop sitting down to poop it's really bad for you you should stand up i would be like okay fair enough i'm not a scientist but whenever people are like i saw this shit in people magazine i'm like leave your house <laughs> uh. go for a walk you'll be fine And I don't know, like, people are so anti-shower these days. Like, it's okay to be stinky. I don't have a problem with that. But, like, stop taking out on those of us who are unstinking ourselves for the benefit of society. Like... I always think about this. Like, I spend five days on the internet. And if at, at the last day, like, Friday afternoon, I'm eating lunch and I'm scrolling through Twitter. And I'm like, the world is collapsing. I walk outside on Saturday, I go to the playground. 
I see people who disagree with each other getting along. I see them acting normal. I see them, their kid bumps into my kid. I say, oh, are you okay? They don't say like, why are you talking to my kid? They go, oh, it's my kid's fault. And I say, no, it's okay. Kids are kids. We have like a nice conversation with a stranger. And I'm like, maybe the world's not so bad. I, I buy something from the store. Uh, the cashier says, how are you doing? I say, pretty good. How about you? They say, pretty good. There's a stark difference between like the way that it feels to, to be online these days and the way that it feels to be uh, in vivo. It's crazy. If I was, if I ask, I feel like if I asked a normal person, if I was like, what are your thoughts on showering? They'd be like, I'm for it. You ask on the internet, people are like, oh, here's like 17 TikTok sources about why you should only shower like when Mercury's in retrograde and never, the water temperature can't be over this much or it'll dry out your skin. And if you use soap, oh, you use soap? You use soap? Are you crazy? Soap? Soap in 2023? In 2022, soap, I could see it. We didn't know as much back then. But in 2023, soap, are you crazy? Do you hate your skin? Hang on, I'm going to go catch some eels here. Yeah, I would not ask them how they feel about bike lanes. I'm sure they would tell me some shit that would annoy me. They would probably be like, it's good that the Broadway bike lane got scuttled because cyclists can just use tent and i'm like well then they should make tent cyclists only okay then they should make tent cyclists only i don't want to bike on broadway either i don't want to get hit by a fucking translink bus but they should at least make tent more bike friendly okay hang on where's where's my eels You ever tell the Costco cashier about your Peloton ride? No, but I do think that they have a mandate at Costco to... Chip, do you feel this? Like, they have a banter mandate at Costco. Like, they never just say, like, Hi, how was your shopping today? Did you find everything you needed? They're always, like... Maybe it's because, like, we have a baby with us all the time. But they're always like, um, hey, I see you bought the, brought the boss with you today. Ha <laughs> ha, I remember going on trips like that. Like, we're, we get into some, like, real conversations. But I never have time to tell the cashier about my Peloton rides. Because, honestly, the Costco, I don't know if it's the staff or, like, the infrastructure. But um, the Costco cashiers are crazy quick. They're, it's one of the few stores where I would say they're consistently waiting on me more than I'm waiting on them. I guess it's one of those places, you know, they never have to waste time being like, how are you going to pay? They already know. They look at me, they're like, he's not that old, so it's not cash. So, like, 100%, this is going to be a MasterCard. Brother, where's my eels? Costco only takes Visa? Tell me you're American without telling me you're American. In Canada, they only take MasterCard. Whoa! Your country's so weird. <laughs> Everything in Canada is like slightly weirder than what I've considered normal my whole life. Okay, honest, I would, I would yeet this. No disrespect. To fit another eel. We'll figure it out. Oh, there's no more eels here. <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh! <laughs> the hell happened? Oh, because I overheated. I wasn't paying attention at all. I do it. It's like 67 minutes. I haven't even completed the first quest yet. Come on, man. Little dial. Little dial. <laughs> oh. 
corpse slime. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. My ass died in dredge just driving my boat. How embarrassing is that? Okay, let's head out. Oh, Alt F4 too. Chibli, I don't know. I know you were talking about this a little bit on, on your Alt F4 stream. I think it's just chasing that first high all over again, man. Like, um... Like, they, they fucked up something in Alt F4 too. I don't know if they got high on their own supply or something like that, but they... Like, why is Alt F4 2 like an open world game? It's just, I, it didn't need it. They just needed to make a second Alt F4. Instead, they, it's like they got a little overly ambitious, I think. Just, just from what I'm watching you play, at least. Listen, I don't care if the eel quest is required, okay? It's just, I, I need a win. I need to know that for once in my life I did something. I can't. I can't do it. I can't fit the heel. <laughs> Three and two. Three and two. I could catch one more eel. We just need to get some momentum. Oh, but we can't rotate it like that. I thought I could just do a, a transformation. All right, well, you know what? Here, you go repopulate the rest. Now get your haste out, but don't let yourself overflow. Oh! Don't let yourself overheat here. Man spends two hours doing side quests, asked to return to main quest. It's true, but hey, we, it's not like we did nothing. We did upgrade our engines quite considerably. Now, don't sell them. Just toss those in storage until they become aged. We did crash and die twice as well, that's true. You literally did one thing? Bro, you're like a... This is like when I take my daughter to the library and she's like playing with blocks by just like looking at the block and saying what's on it and then like a four-year-old comes over and is like you're playing with them wrong what do you mean you're playing with the you do you hear yourself dakota do you hear yourself what do you mean she's playing with them wrong always come over and they're like that those are blocks we were building a train what the hell are you even saying I'm not going to let them rot into nothing, okay? Because you're going to tell me when to take them out of the thing. So if I... <laughs> this is like the narcissist creed. It's like, if, if I make a mistake, it's your fault, okay? Alright, now let me just take a look at this here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post up here. Let me speak to the hermit again. What can I do for you? What am I supposed to be doing? My family crest. It was dragged into the tunnels by that creature. Its lair is somewhere towards the center by the large waterfall. Perhaps you could look there for it. Okay. Do I need to, do I need to go there at night? It must be right here. No, it can be day. What's crazy about it is that like the day becomes the night. The night becomes the day. I don't really remember the rest of it. Something, 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 something. Break on through to the other side. By the waterfall. By the waterfall, of course. Skirt! <laughs> My rod! Okay, haste me. We're zooming, man. S 
straight on till morning. Oh! Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Go, 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 go! We can make it this way. I'm like one hit away from death too, aren't I? That's right, you just gotta counter steer on the corners a little bit. <laughs> on the other side of the island. <laughs> the fuck, dude? Here, you, go, you gotta go through the jetty. Squeeze. Okay, just chill till the morning come. Daylight come and me want to leave home. How about, how's that? How does that strike you? Okay, rest me till the morning. <clears throat> and then we're going to go back. We're going to check our eels and we're going to heals. Hey, handsome pansom. I'm sorry, we're... I look, I looked at Full Aces Tennis Simulator 2.0 and I was reading the update and I was like, I honestly, I can't even. Chat, why would you do this? They're now rotting. They're not aged, they're rotting. Rotting is good. I like aged cheese. I don't like rotting. If I went to the store and they were like, hey, this is a Balderson seven-year rotting cheese, I would be like, no thanks, bozo. She wants rotting? Okay, then we're then everything's fine. Then we're all okay. I don't know, I don't see why you guys are so upset. Couldn't find space for the item? Then then you're as bad at this game as I am, honestly. It's a sad story. <laughs> I can do this. You look at me. Look at me. You can do this. <laughs> look at me. I gotta reinstall this. It's gonna take four hours. This shit's gonna be like completely rotted to dust by the time I get. Oh! <laughs> no. She only needs one. She only needs one. Okay, hang on. I don't know how much time this dude's got left in him. Get out of here! Go, go, go! Oh, man. It's the wrong town! <laughs> Whatever, let me give him his crest real quick. <laughs> oh. Do you know of any shipwrecks? Or what do you mean? Let me give you your crest, bro! Crest is in storage. I thought there was shared storage. Okay, okay, there is, there is. But then I gotta put the eel back in here. Oh, man. Hello again. Is this your family crest? You found it. Would you take this to my brother? Yeah, sure. I guess I'm the fucking pearlator now. Please. Here's the aged eel you asked for. We did it. $150. That's like three fish, bro. I did that all over three fish. I could have caught three fish in a half second. At least we finally cleared the quest. What is it? Oh, I believe this crest is yours. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? 
Fine, he can stay in my old workshop, but I'll need some time to clear it out. Perhaps you can do something for me. I've been trying to, trying to clear some debris in the pathways through to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady. You just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Challenge accepted. Hey, Vaz Quasi, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Thank you. Progress, can you believe it? Most games, like people are like, oh, Midnight Suns, that took me 90 hours. I'm like, no, skip all the dialogue, don't do any side quests, 42 hours. Dredge, people are like, that's a nice game to play on a Saturday afternoon. I'm going to be like, that shit took a, a quarter. That took three months out of my calendar year. I, I just, for some reason, I, I, I can't keep the objective straight in my head. Don't even get me started. I don't even know where this shit goes. Saw these menus on menus on menus. The wall to the ramp to the floor to the wall to the ramp to the... <laughs> I know what I must do. Let's sleep. Let's, let's just not get... Um, let's not get killed by a Cthulhu today. Good job. It's Dicey Dungeons all over again. Don't get me started on Dicey Dungeons, okay? My, uh, good game. My memory of Dicey Dungeons, though, is that we had several runs. I think it was like Witch 4 or something like that, where like one in 16 chances came through and just ruined my life over and over. A pile of loose debris. Yes. Pursuit updated. It would have been nice if you let me do that shit earlier. <laughs> it would have made my my questing here a lot easier. You ever gonna go back to Deus Ex? Brother, we're living in Deus Ex. What more do you want? I was just letting that one percolate for a minute. God, I'm getting some salmon. Sure, there's, I'm sure there's treasure behind the waterfall, but like at the same time, there's treasure in the damn sea, man. Haven't you heard of uh, Beachcomber by Real Estate? Until you find your Rolex in the sand, you'll be stuck here. Until that solid gold is in your hand, You'll be happy. Call your office on the phone. Tell them you ain't coming home. I don't remember the rest of the hey, You fell into vacation zone. Rotten treasure chest. Okay, well, you know what? Throw you in the garbage. Got some refined metal. I can't believe you listen to real estate. Yeah, I know a lot of people are like surprised that I'm cool, which I take a great degree of offense to. But I'm a pretty cool. Chip knows I'm a cool guy. I'm gonna dump another salmon for quality of life. You don't have the right equipment. I, oh, but I could fish abyssal fish if I get my upgraded fishing rod. <laughs> 